Oh, hello. Here we are again. Appreciate you being here. Let's get started then. Big special thanks to the several hundred new subscribers that hopped on over from Brandon's channel to check me out. I love you guys, even though I think you're crazy for calling yourselves pornographers. This last week, two main things happened. First, my neck went out. And I mean like the really bad, can't get up, need help getting dressed kind of out. It was freaking rough. Especially when there's a rambunctious, energetic little lady who wants to crawl all over you every second. The second topic is Mother's Day. This was my second Mother's Day ever, and Brandon and Carmela sure brought the love. Let's start at the beginning of the week. My car needed a new battery installed, amongst several other things, so we took it to the thieves, aka the car dealership. Can I help you with something? Hold it! One more step and we're walking! Mini Coopers are fun to drive, but a bitch to take care of, let me tell you. Okay, see this gasket? I have no confidence in that gasket. Okay, so somewhere between the car dealership day and the morning hug that Carmi comes around the corner to give me every single morning, my neck went out. And I nursed it with all the usual remedies. It got better, and then it got worse. Then it got better, and then it got worse. And then I finally made it to our number one Cairo who fixed me right up, and now I'm ready to go get on a plane and kink it all up again. Got John Elway and Emmanuel Sanders. When I think about my path to motherhood, I don't remember it ever being a specific goal or desire until my late 20s. I'm 34 now, by the way. Just recently celebrated a birthday. When I was a teenager, my parents had my brother. So I went from being an only child to having a tiny baby brother, and it was the most special, amazing gift I'd ever been given. I'm sure that sparked maternal goals for me subconsciously or not, but aside from that realization, I can't say that I was ever at the forefront until I met Brandon. Even before Brandon and I married and started to family plan, we had both wanted a few years together as newlyweds before we started our own family. Well, a few turned into more than a few, and I do admit I got emotionally antsy. But I was buried in my career trying to find air, and Brandon was building his one football season at a time. We were busy. And while we had a lot of love to give, we also knew a baby would need resources. Time. Our time. I'd be lying if I said it was an easy way to get to motherhood. It felt like being in the longest line I didn't know I was in until the very end. Here we are today, that long line suddenly appearing shorter in the rearview mirror, everything unfolding as it was supposed to. These days right now are what it's all about, the best gifts of all. The Gucci perfume was nice too though. Happy Mother's Day to my own sweet mama who has supported every dream, desire, and destination on my list to date. I'm forever grateful at the life you work to give me and I can't wait to hug you very soon. Now, on to our next adventure. Baby's first airplane ride is coming next week, so leave me all your travel tips. And don't forget to keep up with me on Insta. Thanks and bye-bye.